Long before the release of Sega Rally in Dirt, Rally Racing games looked like this. They were simple and overhead, as demonstrated by 1991's Thrash Rally and Rally Bike from 1988. The new game, Art of Rally, takes a page from those early racing games and delivers a stylish throwback with just enough modern enhancements to not feel dated. It may not convince you that every racing game should be overhead from here on out, but this sophomore release from Fun Selector Labs is a great way to pass your time while waiting for Dirt 5. Art of Rally is a game that is nostalgic for the past. Not the origins of racing games, but rather the sport itself. It breathlessly fawns over the cars of the 1960s and 70s, hoping that you'll also fall in love with their quirky stories and unexpected history. I can almost hear my father sipping a beer and telling me all about the good old days, when cars were created by artists and drivers believed in a higher calling. It's a soft focus trip down memory lane, savoring every single sip of nostalgia. Now, personally speaking, I have no reverence for this era of rally racing, or any era of rally racing for that matter. I love the games and the danger associated with driving on largely off-road courses, but I hadn't really put much thought into the history before playing Art of Rally. What this game does well, beyond being a well-crafted racing game, is being so enthusiastic that you can't help but share their love for the early days of rally racing. The good news is that you don't need to be a racing historian to enjoy Art of Rally. You can be a know-nothing just like me. All you need to have is a love for racing games and a desire to come in first, because that's all that's asked of you in this surprisingly robust overhead racer. It's a journey through the 1960s, 70s, and 80s, taking us around the world and showing off a wide variety of stylish cars. It's intense and often harrowing, but also laid back in a way that is more relaxing than your typical rally game. One thing that I love about Art of Rally is how it eases us into the action by throwing the player into a number of free roam events. There's one for each country you visit, including Finland, Sardinia, Norway, Japan, and Germany. This allows us to not only get used to the camera perspective and vehicle handling, but also take in the amazing sights that are littering each course. You know, this mode reminds me of those early Tony Hawk's Pro Skater games where so much of the job was about collecting tapes and letters. You do the exact same thing here, along with finding the scenic views that each country is known for, as well as a few hidden vans. This is a great warm-up to the main course, where we travel through the years and take on the stiff competition. If you've played other racing games before, then the progression won't come as much of a surprise. We work our way through the different classes by driving faster cars through harsher conditions, earning new vehicles for coming in first without having to restart. Every event has you competing in multiple races, some of which you'll be driving at night or through the rain. You know, there's a nice variety of locations and conditions to race in, so it never feels like you're going through the same course over and over and over again. Now, like a lot of rally games, this one has you battling the time more than other players. Sure, you still need to go fast in order to come in first, obviously, but there are never any other racers on the track. This often makes it feel more like it's you versus the course, which is appropriate given some of the crazy turns you're going to have to make. This is all about mastering each car's handling, which can be a little tricky at first given the overhead perspective. Thankfully, it won't take long for everything to click. And once it does, you'll find that Art of Rally is real tough to put down. With so many years and events to race through, I found myself devoting long afternoons and even evenings to the game, always with the hopes of coming in first and collecting all the cars. Unfortunately, the events do start to feel a bit lonely without having anybody else on the track. This is a game in serious need of ghost cars showing us how far ahead or behind we are at any given moment. Perhaps there's something like that when you race online against friends but I wasn't able to test that out in this pre-release version. All the single-player events have you on the track by yourself, even when you're in free roam. This takes away some of the excitement and urgency you normally get from a racing game, and I hope that in the future they decide to add ghosts or maybe even other players to the events. 
On that topic, I was a little disappointed that the faster events weren't, well, faster. The vehicles are supposed to be more powerful as we go through the years, but the game does a bad job of conveying the speed. Perhaps this is one of the downsides of the overhead perspective. The speed increase is gradual at most, to the point where it's sometimes hard to tell if you've even entered a new class. And it doesn't help that the performance is a little iffy with wildly unstable frame rate, no matter what settings I use. But even with these problems, the developer's love and enthusiasm for rally racing made the game impossible to resist. I love the simple yet stylish art design and the laid back feel of every stage. Best of all, the game is packed with content and modes, including online multiplayer events. Look, even if overhead racing games aren't normally your thing, Art of Rally is still worth taking for a spin. Don't let the simple graphics and overhead perspective fool you because Art of Rally is one of the best and most robust racing games of the year. This is a stylish and expertly crafted love letter to the early days of rally racing, and Fun Selector Lab's enthusiasm for the history is truly infectious. Sure, the single player events can feel a bit lonely and the gradual speed increase is barely noticeable. But Art of Rally is the kind of throwback racing game that will remind you of the good old days without feeling outdated. It's a real treat. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite overhead racing game? We don't see a lot of them these days, but I'm definitely partial to old school classics like Spy Hunter and Super Off-Road. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back later this week with a review of Twin Breaker, Tamarin, and Color Jumper. I'm also hard at work on the new dual stick shooter Bartlow's Dread Machine, which we'll talk about next week. If that sounds good to you, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Till then.